Okay, guys. It looks like a box. It is a box. What's in it? Wow, I wonder what could be in it. Well, that's why we're doing this video to find out what's in it. Okay. Well, it's been a long week. My daughter's been in the hospital. Usually my wife is the camera operator, so we'll do the best we can. Um, I saw this pop up on eBay. Uh, a gentleman by the name of Rudy. I hope I'm saying this right, man. Rudy Munis, I hope so. I hope I'm saying it right. Sorry, Rudy, if I'm not. Apparently, he's a huge deal. I just found out about him as well, and through his listings on eBay, I found out about a few guys who make things and a, just amazing busts. Sculpt, these guys sculpt, and it's just unreal what they what they do. So this popped up, and I collect the hell out of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I love it. It's probably one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, so uh, I was always wondering if somebody did this piece. Wasn't sure if they did, and it popped up, and it's pretty damn good. Daniel Horn is the sculptor, and this thing, when I saw it, I just had to have it. I actually sold something pretty dear of mine, and it's off to Sweden right now. I kind of lost my ass on it to get this, and then I found out the guy actually still makes these when I, he got a hold of me too late. But anyway, it's a done deal. It is what it is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open it now. Love that. Be careful here, huh? I don't want to cut shit. I always feel like I'm going to cut the mask every time I do that. That would just be awful. I'd probably cry. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Fine packing job, Rudy. Appreciate that, sir. <laughs> That's so fucking fucking awesome, dude. Oh, guys, this is cool. Look at that. Man, I'm gonna get my wife, she's a seamstress, and she's gonna actually recreate the hat from the second one that he wore at the chili cook-off when he won the award. That's one of them hard shell peppercorns. Got a little cool stand with it. That's always cool. Don't have to worry about that. I usually make my own stands, but whatever, you know. When I don't have to, it's always a plus. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the stand, guys. Oh, there goes the phone. Where's my wife? Where is she? Okay, turn this around so you guys can see how fucking killer is that shit. I mean, it doesn't get any better. I've seen a couple on uh, on Google search just looking around, like shoulder busts and stuff with it, with a coat and all that. But this is just pretty fucking cool, man. And uh, it really adds some character to the Texas Chainsaw Master collection. Let's keep that going because it's something that I'm never gonna get sick of. I never will. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. It starts getting weird at three. One and two are awesome. Part one is amazing. Even the remake was really good, but this guy was awesome in the movie when he's poking the chick in the truck and just fucking cool, man. This piece is good. Anybody that does any uh, dealings with Rudy, very easy guy. I mean, he shipped this out immediately. He had a little bit of trouble at the post office, and, you know, we got it straight or whatever. It, he just went to a different post office, but this thing is just awesome. Let me put a light on so you guys can see this a little bit better. Make sure you can actually see it at all. Oh, there you go. Let's see if that helps out. Bam! Now you can see it. That was kind of cool. It was like dark. You couldn't really tell. And now it's like... Because I can't see anything from the other end of this. So look at that shit, guys. Look at the side. Let's turn it. Oh, look at this shit. Drayton Sawyer. Drayton Sawyer, guys. This is fucking good. This is cool. It's going to go so good in the collection. 
I just got to get the hat, do a little partial clothing, you know, the yellow shirt, whatever, and he'll be good to go, man. I cannot wait to put this in my case. I thank you, Rudy. It was like, sometimes these now or never deals seem to pop up, you know. Unfortunately, this was not a never deal. I got a hold of the gentleman who makes these, and he said he could make me one, but whatever. It's here now. It's a done deal. I don't have to wait. And, um, yeah, this is fucking awesome, man. I'm, I'm very happy. It looks a lot better in person than it did in the photo. The photos... The photos don't really do it any justice. This is just a cool piece all around. Foam filled as well, so you don't have to worry about it collapsing or falling apart. So that's always a plus. I'm real big into the latex foam filled stuff. Um, I sold my silicone basement effects piece. Got you know some pretty good money. Not what I really wanted to get for it, but you know sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. I sold it to a guy who is probably going to wear it and actually have time to do stuff with it. My original intentions were to do stuff with it, but I just, I don't have time. My, my, my daughter's in the hospital and going through stuff and, you know, it's the way our, me and my wife's schedules are, we just don't have the time to, to do stuff like that. So I'm more of a, just a, a collector of just, you know, pieces like this at this point. So anyway. There it is, and I hope you enjoyed. Thanks, guys.